How's it going, everybody? CityZilla here in our lovely city of Crater Lake. And in this episode, we are going to be working on our freeway and our forestry layout and just a couple other things that have popped up. I We are going to finally be burying the freeway. We're getting to a point where we need to start building around where it's going to be. And so I think it's a good time. We're at about 20,000 population and we have about 2.5 million in the bank and we're making pretty steady money. And so I think it would be fair to assume that the city would have enough to work on this, though I still think in real life this would be far from the truth unless that's the state or the region needed it as well. But we're just going to go ahead and throw that to the wind and jump right in. And so let's start off by deleting this. And I wanted to kind of go over the, the way that I got this idea. Um, it was from my trip to Boston. If any of you are familiar with Boston, the main stretch of the 95 in downtown Boston is underground. Um, it's a giant tunnel. It's like 1.5 miles across. And it was a huge project that had started planning in the 80s and wasn't completed until the end of 2007. And it involved them taking an elevated freeway and burying it. And so I thought it was such a cool idea and it's a really great way to keep traffic flowing. And they they freed up so much space as well for them to build on top of where the freeway was that I had heard from a bunch of the locals that it was just fantastic for the area. And so what I'm thinking is we need to either elevate one of these roads or um, bring it down. And so I think because this road already has this little bit of a hill right here, it lends to it being easier to elevate. And there we go. And so what I'm thinking is we will come in here and since we're building a new freeway, we're going to go ahead and use the three lane sound barrier road. And then I want to go up. So one, two, three, four, I'm going to go four and it's set on three meters for the road anarchy. And you know what? I think that's pretty good. It's a nice curve. It is a little sharper than I would have liked right there, but I think it's going to work for our purpose. And so we're going to jump over here and do the same thing to this guy. And there we go. That actually worked out a lot better than I was thinking. Um, and so what I want to do is... So we deleted that road. We need to delete this guy and we're probably going to dezone this little guy and we'll go ahead and dezone this as well just because I think having those homes right off the interchange would be kind of dangerous and so that would be an imminent domain scenario right there. And we are going to upgrade our water system with um, some new water towers. I think we'll put one right there just because I think it's a great location next to the dam, even though it may mess up some of our our viewing over there. But then I think we'll do one over here too, just because this is an area that we haven't really, maybe we won't put that there. Maybe that's gonna mess it up too much because we could just do, um, so we'll have one right there we could do one in this little guy. There you go. I think that fits in pretty good. It did sink down a little bit, but I like having those in the middle of the roundabouts. I think it's nice. And so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and delete this road too. We're going to come back and repaint that in, but because uh, I think that's going to be the road that we're going to attach our exits to, though no, you know, it's going to be this road because I really don't want to funnel traffic on this square about. And so we're either going to put an entrance and an exit right here, or we're just going to do it underground, um, which underground might actually work really well too. Since we have this, we could just have the whole interchange underneath that, which would work out really well. We'll go ahead and see when the time comes, but I'll be thinking about that until then. And so I want to come in and lower this down and we don't need to go too deep. We just need to be deep enough to be able to get into our tunnel.
think right there is probably good because then we are a little flush with that. But maybe we'll, um, I think maybe we'll go down a little bit deeper. So we'll go like right there because then um, we won't have to worry about having to dip down underneath that, um, that road over there. And so I think that's probably good. That's pretty flat right there. And uh, it is a little bit higher than what we had initially thought right there. And so I think this is good. And we're just going to come all the way back here. I'm going to unpause it so that we can actually, no, we'll just demolish these. So if I unpause it right now, it's going to be a huge issue. And so we're just going to go ahead and go really wide. And then we're going to assume that the diggers had just dug out a little bit bigger of a space and they're planning on putting it back in. And so we do want to transition this to an above ground at about the other side. So maybe we will go ahead and delete this guy and we will paint in a different so we'll probably just come this way and we'll get rid of that little corner store. It, it does kind of suck. They literally just moved in, but it's for progress. And so it would be necessary. And we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and look at, so we need to either go above or below this rail line. And we really don't want to shift it at all, though it does look like it is lower down there. And so let's see if maybe we can shift it down. Oh, wrong mod. I don't want to put a roundabout on there. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. A little roundabout train section. So we'll go like that. And yeah, that actually um, put it down quite a bit. I guess I didn't realize how low that was. And I guess this was, uh, this was high. I'm just going to do it all the way across and see what it gives me. It's still only, I guess, pretty high. So we're going to demolish this <clears throat> and rethink about that. I think this one is probably good if we just shift it up a smidge. Yeah, you know what? I think that's okay. It does create a little bit of a bump over here, but I think that is something we can live with. And then for this road, we'll just connect it up. I think if we um, keep it a little elevated for just a second, that we will, yeah, look, at, it's already, so that was unmodded right there. And it's so funny, unmodded allows the cables to go through. It's kind of weird, but I always shift it up a little more just because I don't feel right about those cables hitting. And so I think that's good. Again, it's a little steep, but it's not the end of the world. And we could actually probably um, do the same thing with this. So let's just see. Bam, and bam, bam. Yeah, there you go. And it, it again, this is uh, pretty fishy, but we're going to be coming through here and probably uh, leveling a lot of this out for the oil fields or just um, creating down roads. And so I think now we're at a point where we could probably do a nice upward area yeah i think um so if we go in here and we go to the slope tool and we choose a nice size we go like right there and we just go i think that is pretty good um yeah and this is low enough to where we could still get it out and we could get over over the road let's go ahead and look at it though because that looks a little weird this may be much more difficult than I was thinking. And so we will go into our highway. Oh, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. And then we could either put these right next to each other or do... So I think we will move this over just enough to get it around that pillar. Yeah, there we go. 
I even think the pillars aren't uh, too bad. They are in the middle a little bit, but I think that would be at about a good location for them. And so I'm just going to move this guy back and then we can probably just bring this through So then let's go ahead and turn this. I think for right now, that's probably good. Um, we are not going to be purchasing that next square for a little while. And so we'll probably end up turning that into some sort of turnaround. Um, but I think for right now, that's actually good. Um, I think it going through here and then turning next to this road is is nice. Um, it does create kind of an issue for off ramps. And so if we did want to have some sort of access back here, having this like this isn't ideal. And so we are going to need to get this away or we would just create the off ramp going somewhere else, which is definitely doable. Um, but I think for right now, that's probably good. Um, and then I do want to just lower this down a little bit. I feel like this is a little too extreme. So, I mean, I, I think that's still pretty extreme, but it, I've seen it in freeways. Freeways can be pretty, uh, pretty steep. And so I do want to go like that and go like that. And we're going to be filling this in again. And so what I'm thinking is we're going to do a partial clover leaf with two flyovers. So what I mean by that is we are going to, so we're going to be doing two turnarounds, um, one coming from this direction, looping right here and coming up top. And then we are going to do one from this direction, loop up here and come up top. And then we're going to do a flyover going this way and then a flyover going that way. Though I think maybe if we, did the loop right here. You know what, I think we're gonna try the other direction because um, it actually might work out a little better like that. And we do need to be mindful of extra lanes. So we're probably gonna do like a frontage road that the flyovers can also connect to. So we will do a road back here and then we will have this guy cut straight across. And there we go. And I didn't realize that the spacing was so much higher. <laughs> That's definitely not what we're uh, going for. Um, I feel like this is probably a little too steep. I, I think so. So we're going to just do the slope tool. And just come in here and bam, bam. There you go. Yeah, that's good. And you know what? Since we're at it, let's, uh, let's do the same for this guy. Because they're... They're really high, we really don't need them that high. And so it would be better if we just sloped it and we were at a more even angle. Yeah, there you go. That actually looks pretty good. And then it um, makes it just a little bit better for this area. And then we are just going to smooth this guy out. Yeah, there you go. Man, look at these cars. They're just flying. Man, look at that. This is like a bus. We got a ore mining truck. These guys are, they don't even know what's going on. This is like the Matrix or something. They've literally just been paused in air. This is a bus, inner city bus. They're just trying to leave. And now they're suspended in the air. And so we got one frontage road. And then let's go ahead and draw in another frontage road over here. And, you know, it's because I, I did find out that it's because Anarchy's on. And there we go. And perfect. And so now we are able to... Now we're able to have multiple entrances and exits on the same road, which I think is just fantastic. And there we go. That one is a little bit farther away than I would have liked. And there we 
go. I think that looks pretty good. Having this one so far down doesn't look great. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to make sure we got clearance. We do. And there we go. It's a little bit bumpy, but it's not bad. And then what we're going to do is just come up here. And so we are now creating access for this side. So then all we're going to have to do is create access on this side. And then we are good for this angle. And so what I want to do is probably have... This. All right. And so that should be okay. We may have to jigger around with it a little bit. But I'm going to use the loping, the looping tool with the network multi-tool and there you go and so if your loop is a little bit off all you have to do is go in to move it and shift over your angles a little bit so if you come in here and just go like that shift it out and then just push that in a little bit all it's going to do is push the circle out a little bit and so this should be looks like that was just a little too much i'm gonna go ahead and pull it back in And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna see if we can just get it a little bit smaller. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think that is great. And it um, clears our walls. It's not too close to this guy. It is a little bit close to that. I think we may shift this down just a little bit. And there you go. So we got a nice, um, this is still a little close, but it's not terrible. And so this would definitely be doable. We're just going to flip it around. And there you go. First circle. And what we can do is shift it in a little more, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it right now. We might come back there and clean it up, but I think at the moment it's pretty good. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to just bring it back a little bit more. And there we go. And I do want them to be kind of the same size. Yeah, there we go. And that one actually looks a little bit better for being a little cleaner to the edge. And so I think we are going to shift this one just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And then let's just turn this around. Okay, and so now we have, I guess that one was correct. So now we have our two turnarounds. And so those two do not need flyovers. But what are the directions that we need to get around now? And one of them is this way. So what we'll do is... Um, have this branch off and actually turn into instead of doing this what we'll do is we'll cut this back and then have this turn into the flyover So that actually looks really good. Um, it is just a little too steep for what we need, but man, that slope came out perfect. So I think right there is probably good. And then we will turn this guy around and we're going to use the freeform tool. Just go out as far as we need it to and then turn it around this way. There we go. 
And it does look like we probably are going to need to extend this frontage road just a little bit. Um, because we still need to get the exit from this side. But I think that looks pretty good. Um, we are going to come back in and copy some of these pillars because like this guy right here would uh, would not be okay. So like this would need to be like right there. So now there is support right there, and then we would just need to do another one. And we'll turn this one sideways again. And we'll go right there, that's perfect. Oh, that is not perfect. <laughs> this would not be great, so we'll go like that. And there you go. And so now we have completed the one side, one flyover. And now we just need to do the second flyover, which is this side. And we are going to do the same thing. We're just going to detach from that road. And it's kind of funny. I guess I am. I did that because when we, when I practiced with this, I did the flyovers and I knew that this needed to be out one. And so I guess I didn't, I had forgotten about it, but. I'm glad that we did the frontage roads first because we needed to have that in there. Curve a little bit earlier. And the reason why we wanted to curve a little earlier is because I went a little too far with, um, with that first one because normally you would want that to be a little further in. So I think yeah, because you want this to be almost like right in the middle. Like right there. Yeah, there you go. Actually looks pretty good. Didn't mess up our pillars, but... So that one will be in the middle down below, which is perfect. And this one now, I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to... Oh, you know what, that actually looks really good. And this still is a pretty good turn. I think we could even drop this down a smidge. Yeah, I think that's good. And what that does is it just opens this up a little bit more for us over here. There we go. And so, see we barely touched right there. We got lucky. And then we will go straight and start dropping it down. And there we go. And so we got two flyovers. I do want to just shift this guy over a smidge. And I think that looks so good. I think this one is a little bit off. But I just don't know if there's really much we can do with it. Yeah, you know what? That actually fixed it. Just it's going to mess up our pillars. So we need to go back to this guy. Oh, no, he's actually still good. And then oh, that guy is still good too. And he's not in the street, which is good. Neither is this guy. Oh, that actually worked out well. And so that actually looks perfect. And then all we need to do now is do the same side crossover. So... Like if you're going this way and you want to go right, then you get off on this road and then um, hook that way. And so, and doing these is kind of a pain. Um, <laughs> can see why uh, and I've done quite a few of these now this definitely is my first but you just kind of it you know you has to be perfect you want it to be perfect and so you end up putting in all this extra time to make sure that it's just right I think that um that looks pretty good and then what it does is it makes this transition a little bit better which is really all I was trying to do there And there we go. I do want to just shift this guy over. 
Yeah, I think that's good. And then we'll go to a two lane. We'll probably go to a five lane right here. Yeah, there you go. And then that way we can allow the two lanes to actually merge at the same time without having to uh, merge on their own. And so I like that we ended up doing the, the off ramps. I think that's really smart. So then we need access from this side to that side. And normally you would just have these two bridges connect. And so let's see if we can somehow get that to work. Because ideally I think that would be best. I want it to be a little bit better than that. So I'm going to do... All right, and so this is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I was initially hoping. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so let's go up like right here. Yeah, there you go. And then let's do the same thing over here. I think we will shift this up just a smidge. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. I kind of wish I had um, shifted this over before because we didn't really need that frontage road to be like that. So I think we will go like this. And so now we need to do one on this side. This one's going to be a little bit easier, and so it's not really as big of a deal. Okay, and so then for this side, the same as the other, we just need to connect up both sides. Okay, so this is the general idea of this. Um, I think I'm still going to spend a little bit of time cleaning it up, and then I want to do some uh, network multi-tool stuff and all that.
Yeah, just because I think some of these could definitely be a little bit cleaner. So like even this right here. So I could go in here, delete this guy. Yeah, there we go. So that one's cleaned up, and I think I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just because it does look quite a bit better. Okay, so I think that is it. It looks pretty good. And so now all we have left to do is go through and um, create little four lanes. I've been putting in five lanes in a lot of them because we have two. So any of them where we have two lanes, I want to actually utilize those two lanes and then just turn it into a five lane. Because then you can kind of minimize that, that period um, where they have to merge afterwards. And so I think it's really helpful. And then we're just going to come in here and go like that. And I think we're going to go like that as well. And I'm just going to shift this node back so that there is a place for them to change lanes. And then I think for this guy, this could actually be an issue because there is no node. And so we actually need a node right there. And I think we will move this back and there we go and then I did five lanes right there we'll do four lanes right here and I did five lanes right there. We'll do four lanes on this side. Some of them I didn't do two lanes because they didn't really have enough space to be able to put in that second lane with adequate time. So like those two, but I think this one's maybe, I mean, we'll put it in there because it, it may provide just enough space to make the change a little faster. Yeah, there we go. And so now it's all set up and I'm just going to go into node controller and just open up the offsets a little bit. All right, so I think that looks pretty good, and it looks like we are not having any issues, though it does look like we may have too many nodes right here. There you go. And so over here as well. There you go. That should fix it. They should figure it out in just a second. And then all we need to do now is work on the tunnel. And so we're not going to go too far into it today. Um, and so the main objective is to just go deep enough.
And there we go. And we just need to hook this guy back up. And perfect. And so we got our nice little bridge going. We have all of our connections, though it looks like this guy is backwards. And then we are going to be turning this And there we go. And then we just need to build an off ramp under here. And this would be really interesting. I don't, it would definitely be um, above ground. Uh, this would not be the safest of interchanges to have it like this. And there we go. So now we have an underground um, multi-point freeway system. It's kind of funny. These pathways would be in there. So this would, they would probably have windows to where you could see it. Um, but uh, the reason I wanted to hook it up to that is because it is a, an arterial that we have really good access to. And so I think it's smarter for us to do that. Um, and then it spits out right here. And so we do have some pretty decent accessibility for that. And so we are just going to go back in here and, and fill this guy in. Um, I think for this side though, we may just leave it like that. And then we probably will come in and do some trees or something. Um, I would like to do the intersection marking tool, but I think for right now, this is probably good. This uh, took a lot of time. It definitely took longer than I was anticipating, but we can unpause it and let's see if we have any major issues. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Most of our angles are pretty solid. We don't have anything that is real uh, off, but we do have a couple things that just aren't super even. Like I wish that these uh, nodes were all at the same level, but all of our curves are pretty good. We do have some pretty steep, um, declines and inclines, but I just don't think there's really too much that we can do about that in a lot of these instances. And so we're just going to, we're just going to deal with it. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that guy. Oops. Well, that was a bad mistake. And it looks like people are already using it and it looks like we're not really having any traffic backups or anything i was a little concerned with this uh, setup and i did kind of play around with the intersection marking tool a little bit i've used it before but i think they've recently updated it so i don't really understand a lot of these i think they changed it um so i gotta look into it and figure it out um i don't normally do intersection marking just because in some places they they're not very prominent um to do stuff like that but in other places they are, like in other places you see like do not blocks and stuff like that. Um, where I'm from, they don't, do, they don't do that stuff. I don't know why. Um, I always thought that Las Vegas would do better with the uh, do not blocks, um, or like don't block the box or whatever, because people do block it. But I think it has to do with just uh, we don't have as much traffic. Though it is still a pretty large city. It's about three million people, and so it's it's up there. It's not small. Um, it's pro it's definitely first or second tier in terms of size in uh, the United States. But yeah, do not block is not a thing. And so let me know what you guys think of the intersection. Um, I like these partial clover leaves with the two flyovers. I had initially gotten this idea from an interchange in Las Vegas for with the 15 and the 215. Um, but they, instead of doing two flyovers, it did two fly unders. And so it's a double partial clover leaf like this, but instead of having these um, curve over, what it did, what it does, is it has these wrap to the right and then tuck under. And it's just a really th like cool thing. So it would actually be this road, the above road would be the one with the fly unders. And so the um, 
the turnarounds would be opposite. They'd be over here and over here, and then you'd wrap this around and have it tuck under. And it's just a really nice way for uh, to not block um, any views. That's the reason why Las Vegas does is because they don't want to block the, block the casinos. And so when you're on this top level, you can't see any of the interchange, even though it's this big. It's huge. It's a giant interchange. And it has uh, full access too. So it has a bunch of off ramps to the streets in the area, whereas this has none. And though we probably will add some, um, just because having that accessibility is super important. Let me know what you guys think of the interchange. Um, I think it came out really good and we still do need to clean up some of it. I, I don't like that this is uh, like that. So maybe we will just uh, soften this up. I don't know. I don't want it to be like jagged like that though. I think it looks incredibly unrealistic. I think it would be better for us to um, uh, do maybe do something like that. I don't know. But we'll come back through and because we could even just leave it like that. I just don't want it to be too unjagged. I think these look good, um, but and even this other side looks pretty good. But I think the uh, that jaggedness didn't look good. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode.